Today, we're going to look at the XTool D1 with the brand new rotary attachment, the RA2 Pro. This version has a dual beam laser module that gives you 10 watt optical output power while maintaining a very compressed laser spot. The brand new rotary gives you a lot of new possibilities when it comes to engraving around objects. It functions as an ordinary rotary for cylindrical objects and it has a stand that allows you to tilt objects like wine glasses. But the most important update is a chuck. It allows you to work with more complex shapes such as coffee cups with handles, round objects and even rings. We are going to test engraving on different kind of materials as well as cutting. But first, let's have a closer look at the machine itself. The D1 gives you a work area of 17 by 16 inches and a 5.5 inch height with erasers for the rotary tool. When looking at the design of the machine, it's clear that they built a very rigid machine for high precision. The frame is not built on common aluminum extrusions, but more sturdy profiles. It also has steel ball bearings similar to what you find on precise camera sliders. The y axis are linked to ensure it will not become misaligned, even if you move the laser. The laser module is easy to adjust and focus with a tightening mechanism and built-in distance gauge that you just flip up and down. Let's do the first test for this laser to see if the laser spot is really as small as 0.08 by 0.08 millimeters. We are engraving two lines on plywood one in each direction with a power of 60%. Then we use a calibration card where we have different lines with varying widths. If the line on the card covered the engraved line, we know that the engraved line is thinner. Both the horizontal and the vertical line are either 0.08 mm or very, very close. Soon we're going to test the rotary attachment, but first let's do some engraving on MDF and try cutting both plywood and acrylics. We are using the laser with light burn, but you get the software Laserbox Basic for free from Xtool, if you want to use that instead. This is a high speed map engraving. The speed allows us to check the accuracy of the laser. The left edge is very straight as the lines continue to grow. This engraving came out very nice. Then let's test cutting 3mm plywood. Recommended settings for the 10 watt laser is 100% power, 360mm per minute and 1 pass. Seems like the wood is not fully cut. Note that this is regular plywood and not specially laser plywood. So factors such as how dry the wood is, thickness, twig knots, will always influence the cut. Let's try one more time, lowering the speed to 340mm per minute. This time it cuts. For most lasers we almost always run the recommended settings, but add one more pass, just to make sure it cuts all areas. Let's try 2.8mm black acrylics. The recommended settings for the 10 watt laser on 3mm acrylics is 100% power, 180mm per minute and 2 passes. But as we can see, it made it in just one pass. Now it's time to test the RA2 Pro rotary attachments. We're going to try to engrave this glass beer mug. The problem with this on an ordinary rotary tool is that it's heavy, it's tapered, and how is also very heavy. Let's give it a spin. First we are painting the glass with a thin layer of spray paint so that the laser can engrave it. Then we're placing it in the chuck.
we need to make sure it's level. So we are adding wedges. We're using the supporting roller at the bottom of the glass to keep it level and stable. Note that we have moved the bed of the roller to the back side, so we can easily level it. We're running the laser at 100% power and 200 millimeters per minute for one pass. This is how the beer mug came out. Do any of you recognize the logo? Then leave a comment on the video. Or let us know if we should have chosen a different logo. We're also going to test the laser on stainless steel. Full disclosure. Extol did send us this laser for free. They did not, however, have any requirements for what we should say in the video, nor did they get to see the video before anyone else. There is a link to the laser in the description. If you choose to use that link when you purchase the laser, we will get a small kickback. Right now, there's a great sale for Father's Day. We are going to test the laser on stainless steel. The laser are running at 100% power, 600mm per minute, for one pass. The color came out very nice and dark. So all in all, the Xtool D1 performs very good. And the rotary tool, the RA2 Pro, is just awesome. Please like and subscribe.